When I shop for shoes, I mainly look at the design and uh, I like the classics more as I think it's the design that sparks off everything first and then you just kind of decide whether you want to dance in it. At first it was just for like, oh, it looks nice and then just wear it. I don't care like whether it's comfortable or not, it's always like style first. But after I realised that you want to take off your body, right? So you want to make sure that you, know, you wear something comfortable. So for me, comfort first, style second. My go-to dance shoes will be Nike Hurashis. Very comfortable, very unique, very colourful and I don't know, just stands out. For me, definitely the A6 Gel Light 3 because that shoe is like wow, everything that I want in one shoe. You got that really good cushion that is not too stiff on the feet. You know, some shoes are really like bricks la, and it's slim enough to do like fast foot work. So sometimes some other shoes that I, I used to have, right, it's a bit bulky, so when I want to do treading or when I want to like be fast on my feet, uh, you, you get stuck. But for A6, the shape, everything is smooth and perfect for footwork. Currently, my favourite shoes to dance in is the Adidas Stan Smiths because it's super easy to match, hugs your feet right and you feel good on the dance floor. My go-to dance shoes or rather like shoes that I rock to is uh, Puma, Sugi, Shinsei, Puma Trinomic and also uh, Blaze of Glory. For me, it's more like a, how say, a nostalgic kind of feeling because I started b-boying and Puma used to be like, see a lot of b-boys wearing it and especially like for people like me, I have like white, white, white feet, right? So it fits like just nice. The rod levers actually accommodates to your feet size really well, whether it's uh, wide or skinny. You won't get like painful toes because the sole is thick, it helps you balance well. It still gives me some space to do smooth gliding and stuff but at the same time giving me the grip I need. If you cannot afford expensive shoes right, sometimes replica is the only way to go but uh, personally I like the original stuff because even if there's a 10% difference in, in the quality and materials right, to me that kind of makes the shoe the shoe. So if you want to invest, I'd rather you invest in a real one because it lasts longer, it looks nicer, the shape, the cutting, everything is different. So, I mean, you don't want to wear something fake and try to pull off a real stuff, right? I feel that it's super important to have like nice shoes to dance in is because when you feel good, you actually dance good. And that is why many people put so much attention on their costumes when they go on stage. Shoes really enhance how we dance. The weight of the shoes, the smoothness of the shoes, how, uh, how much grip you have on your feet when you're dancing. Your feet is one of the parts where I feel that takes the most beating. So I mean like, if you invest in nice caps, clothes, uh, even in, in earpiece uh, or whatever, why not invest in your feet? Because that's the thing that wears out the fastest. Lah. What's up guys, this is Zaha, you're watching Kick and Step. Hi, I'm Marcus Mazipan and you're watching Kick and Step. My name is Kyung aka 2K and you're watching Kick and Step. Yo, what up? This is Jaden from Checker Minds and you're watching Kick and Step. Hi, my name is Jin and you're watching Kicks and Steps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>